السلام علیکم سر تھینک یو سو مچ میں وہ ماڈریٹر آیا کہتا ہے سر آپ بلال صاحب نہیں ہیں تو آپ آ جائیں میں نے کہا ان کی ہائپر ٹینشن کی ریل چل رہی ہے اس میں اس میں انہیں کو رہنے دیں مجھے بے شک بعد میں ایڈجسٹ کر لیں تو اینی وے آئی سر ود ود پرمیشن دس از اے بٹ چینج آف ٹاپک آئی ایزیوم کہ ہائپر ٹینشن کی وہ سیشن از ڈن ود سر آپ نے اس کو ملانا ہے پٹیشن کے ساتھ جی وہ ٹرائی کر سیشن ہے پٹیشن کا ہے جی ٹھیک ہے سر سو ارزمیا ریلیٹڈ ٹو ہے پٹینشن جی ٹھیک ہے تھینک یو جی ٹھیک ہے سر سو یہ دا ریزن آف برنگنگ دس ٹاپک واز دیٹ او دا لاسٹ ٹوینٹی ٹو ایئرس آف مائی ایکسپیرینس ان دس الیکٹرو فزیولوجی بوتھ ان پاکستان اینڈ ابراڈ میں نے دیٹ وٹ آئی نوٹسڈ اس کہ یہ جو اردمیاز ہیں they create a lot of uh, anxiety and alarm and i'm uh, this time i am talking of uh, chronic arrhythmias main acute setting ki baat nahi kar raha i am not talking of acute setting so do they create uh, are they dreaded yes they are dreaded question is why they are dreaded so the the reason is because of their complexity of mechanism ek second is because they have a very limited فارماکولوجیکل آپشنز ایٹ دا مومنٹ جسٹ ایز بلال صاحب سیٹ کہ کیلشیم چینل بلاکرز ہیں تو یہ سچ ہے کہ ابھی تک جو روٹین میں ٹریٹمنٹ ہے وہ یا بیٹا بلاکر ہیں یا کیلشیم چینل بلاکرز ہیں یا بہت آگے تیر کوئی مارے تو وہ ڈیجاکسن کا سوچتا ہے آبویسلی یہ جو اردمیاز ہے جو ابھی میں ایک ایک کر کے آپ کو بتاؤں گا دے ہائپر ٹینشن سے بھی ریلیٹڈ ہے سرٹنلی اے ایف کین بھی ریلیٹڈ بٹ ان کا اس یہ جو فارماکولوجیکل آپشنز ہمارے پاس ہے ان میں سے اس کا توڑ کسی کے پاس نہیں ان ڈرگز میں وٹ اباؤٹ اینٹی اردمک ڈرگز بالکل صحیح اینٹی اردمک ڈرگز بالکل ان کا رول ہے انفارچونیٹلی اس کے ساتھ کنسرنز ہیں ایفیکیسی سیفٹی پیشنٹ اویئرنیس وغیرہ اویلیبل کون سی ہے پاکستان میں فریلی کارڈرون نان اویلیبل کون سی ہے جو ہم دینا بھی چاہتے ہیں دیتے بھی رہتے ہیں دنیا میں دی جاتی ہیں سوٹولال ہے فلیکنائڈ ہے ڈائیسو پیرامائڈ ہے پروپیفینون ہے میگزلیٹین ہے سم آف دیم آر اویلیبل آبویسلی وی ہیو ورک لاٹ فار اٹ اینڈ دے آر اویلیبل ناؤ سو سلوشن واٹ از دی سلوشن ٹو دس سو سلوشن میں ایگزیکٹلی آج آپ کو اس کا پیش کر رہا ہوں ریمبر میں آئی ایم ٹاکنگ آف دی اردمیت اردمیاز وچ آر ان کرانک اسٹیبل اردمیاز اور لانگ ٹرم اردمیاز اگین ایمفیسائز کر رہا ہوں ایکیوٹ سیٹنگ میں ایکیوٹ ایم آئی میں آئی سی یو کی سیٹنگ میں ان اردمیاز کی مینجمنٹ سرٹنلی ڈفرنٹ ہے جسٹ ٹیک فار ایگزامپل سپرا وینٹریکولر ٹیکی کارڈیا کیتھیٹر ابلیشن اباؤٹ نائنٹی ایٹ پرسینٹ سکسیس ایز یو کین سی دس از اے کامن ای سی جی آف این ایس وی ٹی اینڈ ایز آئی سیڈ نائنٹی ایٹ پرسینٹ سکسیس از اویلیبل فار دس اردمیا ود اے کیتھیٹر ابلیشن سو دس از ون آف دی ایگزامپل کیس فورٹی ٹو ایئر اولڈ جنٹل مین نارمل اسٹرکچرل ہارٹ ایپیسوڈک پلپیٹیشن very symptomatic very symptomatic had multiple visits to to the to emergency uh, and as you can see three catheters just three catheters and the 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 solution is there uh, more spe- more complex arrhythmias like atrial tachycardia they happen in people who have got long standing diabetes hypertension then they got enlargements of their atrial chambers and these arrhythmias can happen so just take one example this is a right sided atrial tachycardia very symptomatic 68 year old gentleman extremely uh, symptomatic normal heart uh, halters multiple halters atrial ectopy burden more than 20% this is just a, 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 a illustration of uh, we have some extra tools available but see this is the ablation catheter and just look at uh, uh, down below ecg if you can see the tachy is going on and then one burn and this is converted into sinus rhythm that's the ablation site this was a help of a mapping system flutter is one of the commonest ecg which you people encounter and the drugs which are normally given for it is uh, beta blocker digoxin calcium channel blocker they won't work they would never ever work so have a look at this ecg one of the classic example of an atrial flutter so this patient again 59 year old lady she had an asd surgical repair long time ago uh, these they do have some incisional atrial tachycardias very symptomatic uh, 
again we, we we do have a help of a 3d mapping system which tells us that this is uh, a sort of clockwise arrhythmia happening now as you can see again mapping system one catheter this is on the cavotricuspid isthmus cti on the right and have a look downstairs see tachy going on and that's the sinus rhythm the last five six beats so flutter gone atrial fibrillation another example very commonly linked with hypertensive heart uh, again as i said leading to enlarged uh, left atrias and atria, left atrial enlargement leading to scars scars leading to atrial fibrillation atrial fibrillation begets more atrial fibrillation and the circle goes on and on and on available drugs no success why because they do not act on the mechanism to eradicate it you need something which acts on the on the mechanism of initiation so have a look at this ecg classic af ecg uh, patient y is 61 year old again hypertensive very common linkage with uh, this problem minor coronary artery disease very symptomatic luckily normal atrial sizes so non responding to amedron and non responding to drug sotolol these are the two common drugs which i do give to atrial fibrillation patient i try to convert them with amedron or uh, stop them with amedron or sotolol sotolol is available same drug as uh, cardron group 3 drug uh, but unfortunately he was not responding so what did we do have a look here a transeptal puncture that's one of the left superior pulmonary vein a cine of it and as you can see that's the achieve catheter that's the balloon that's the cryofreeze and look and keep concentrating on the on the screen down below you can see during ablation we managed to bring him into sinus rhythm that's the sinus rhythm that's the difference classic case of uh, arrhythmia is ventricular ectopy commonly attributed to lot of uh, dreadfulness and uh, mostly my colleagues who see ventricular ectopy always think that probably this is a a, a precursor of uh, probably acute myocardial infarction or probably uh, uh, this will immediately turn into vt or vf not necessarily these are uh, outflow vt ectopies so this is a serving uh, military patient he had a uh, couple of procedures before so lots of ectopy burden but structurally normal heart the catheter this is the ablation catheter very close to the origin of the coronary artery so there is a mapping system available with us this is the ablation catheter and hopefully next slide you can see down below the tachycardia terminates oh try to some yes so as you can see down below the strip this is an ongoing yeah and you can see at the end the ectopies are gone and this is uh, this is now sinus rhythm show you one ventricular tachycardia i'll show you two types of ventricular tachycardia one was a very complex ventricular tachycardia but the other is uh, a, a common form of vt which you see in your practice which is the outflow vt this one was a bit complex uh, vt uh, in a patient who already had an arrhythmogenic ventricular cardiomyopathy uh as expected uh, right ventricle was uh, hugely dilated and lots of ectopies this is an arvc cg this is the slow vt which was uh, troubling this patient was not manageable by icd shocks as well as because of the low cycle length not detectable or not uh, we didn't adjusted the icd according to this slow ventricular rate so again lots of catheters this is the ablation catheter and this is the arrhythmia uh, this, this area is actually the faulty area because the the color spreads is the slowest in this area that's the scar area 
So we ablated and Alhamdulillah this gentleman post two months now, no ectopy, no VT. A one very common case, I think most of you will understand this one. So this is a 23 year old lady. She would, she's, she was very symptomatic, palpitation, physical exertion and lately increasing in severity and a common form. She went, when I made her or we would made her run on uh, ETT, she would throw this VT. This is the VT, uh, an outflow, RV outflow, classic RV outflow, ventricular tachycardia. So what we did was, again, we used the mapping system. Uh, this was the ablation catheter, single catheter. This is guided by this spot. We this spot tells us that this is the area. And as you can see down below, the VT is gone. So again, uh, it was an ongoing uh, ventricular tachycardia. Even we had it on table. But uh, Alhamdulillah with ablation, uh, this arrhythmia was gone. So what I, what I intended, thank you so much, what I intended to, to show was, uh, not that I wanted to show you the power of uh, EP, it was just a, 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 a sort of a, a guidance to my colleagues. Because uh, obviously I come across all these questions from across the country. And uh, most of these arrhythmias, obviously, people share with me with, e with ECGs. And there's uh, a lot of alarm uh, being created with it. And then I see a lot of doctors from across the country who come across to me, come with us, and have, have these problems, sometimes just ventricular ectopy, sometimes uh, non-sustained non atrial tachy. And their life is quite miserable. I may not do ablation all the time. It's not that everybody turns up on my table, but what I do is I, I make them aware. I make them realize that this is not something which is going to kill you the next day. So, and there is a management for it. And there is a right form of treatment. So what I've noticed is that if you educate the person enough and give him a, a good explanation, I have seen that uh, their quality of life changes. So not everybody turns for ablation and I'm not propagating that everybody turns for ablation. But what I'm saying is that all of these common arrhythmias, the common arrhythmias, non-acute setting arrhythmias have a mechanism, underlying mechanism, which if understood and explained properly creates a lot of comfort in the mind of the patient. And with this, I thank you all. Thank you so much.